welcome back to my channel so it feels so good to be home we had been away for about two weeks uh, we went to Pennsylvania my husband had some work to do there and if you're new around here we live in North Carolina so we are just kind of recouping from being gone for so long and just getting back in the swing of things I actually already tackled quite a few loads of laundry and it's ready to be put away and today I'm just gonna do a general cleanup just to get kind of back on track tomorrow I'm thinking I'm gonna do an entire house clean and go through the whole house and clean it really well but today I'm more just wanting to pick up vacuum you know that kind of thing and so yeah this is just going to be some extreme cleaning motivation. I hope it gets you guys up and going, and let's get started. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then maybe you don't know um, what our last week has been like, and maybe why you haven't seen very many videos from me. So we went ahead and came home from Pennsylvania. We were initially planning to be there only a few days. Ended up being more like a little over a week, um, just with related to my husband's work. And then um, we went ahead, left to come home, and about halfway home, we live about eight hours from Pennsylvania, our car completely gave out. And it was such a terrible timing. We were heading home on Saturday morning. So where we pulled off to the side of the highway, there was an exit and we were able to get off to safety. But the garage that was there couldn't see us until Monday morning. So we had to get a hotel and just kind of, wait out the weekend until they could fix our vehicle we looked at renting a vehicle but it just didn't make enough sense to have to go back and get it then a few days later it was just better off for us to sit tight and you know wait until it was ready so Monday morning rolled around and they could not get the part that they needed for the car until Tuesday. So we ended up staying three nights in a hotel in really the middle of nowhere. Thank goodness I could get Instacart. So we got some groceries delivered and then we got food delivered obviously, but it was a really crazy trip. So all in all, we ended up being away from home for two weeks. It was so unplanned. And even the day that we left, we just kind of made a spur of the moment decision and left. So it was just crazy. So coming home, I was so ready to get settled back in and just get everything put away way and cleaned up and since I didn't really have time to clean before we left um, everything was just a little out of place we cleaned a little before we left but nothing crazy and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and actually like cleaning deep cleaning a little bit in the house but until then I just needed to get everything just straightened and things put away toys picked up that kind of thing I have to say that our girls were such troopers. If you're new here, they're two, three, and four, and they did such a great job staying in a hotel room. There was really nothing we could do. There was no way to get out and about, and obviously the pool wasn't open at the hotel, so it just <laughs> was crazy. We've never had anything like that happen before. If you've had anything like that happen, let me know in the comments because it's just so unexpected and I guess that's what you have to think about when you're traveling. Starting in the kitchen, I got my kitchen Norwex cloth. I clean with Norwex and it does remove 99% of bacteria. I'll leave a link to a video below where I did a test under blue light and compared it to um, a household cleaner that we all know and use and it's amazing the results and it's really mind blowing. It even was for me to do the test. So I'll let that below and you can check it out.
Someone asked me recently in a video if I use my Norwex kitchen cloths to wash my dishes, and yes, I do. Um, I use them alone because you can use them alone um, to wash your dishes and get them sanitized. But I recently got an order and I really love their dish soap as well, which is compatible with their cloths and is perfectly safe to use with their cloths. So what I was doing here is I got some lemon oil out and I was removing the residue behind the labels on these bottles. Um, I use them to make a drink that I like to make and it's just really nice to be able to recycle and reuse bottles and these can be used over and over. Um, they have a really great seal in them and citrus oils do an awesome job at getting rid of sticky stuff. So even if you have orange oil or something like that, it does as good of a job. I've used that before as well. And I did mix it with some of the dish soap. Um, I just thought it would do a better job combining the two. Like I mentioned, I got a Norwex order recently and I tried out their dishwasher soap. You guys know I like to make my own dishwasher tabs, but it's not always the ideal situation for everybody. So I thought I would try their dishwasher soap since it is a clean and natural dishwashing detergent and it works so well. I was like extremely impressed. So if you're looking for a really great clean detergent for your dishwasher that will leave your dishes sparkling and clear. This is definitely the ticket. While I was in Pennsylvania, I did a little bit of shopping and then I also shopped my mom's house. My mom loves to buy decor just as much as I do and we often trade things. There's times I've given her stuff that's in my house and so usually whenever I'm there, I like shop her basement or her attic and just check out what she has that's extra that she's not using right now and we trade and do that kind of thing. I kind of love it, it's one of those things that I will always remember that my mom and I did and um, it just means a lot to me. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. All right, so I went into my laundry room because things were just crazy. I get in a bad habit of throwing stuff up in these bins and just getting it all really mixed up. So I wanted to go through it and divide the things out that I wanted in each bin and fold some of my cloths and just kind of get it all straightened up.
So here is where I hang up my cloths and my Norwex things. So just a little reminder that whenever you're done using a Norwex cloth, you do want to hang it up so that the silver that is embedded in the cloth can go to work eating away at the bacteria that's left in the cloth. This is my dusting mitt and I finally get to tell you guys since I'm home and my Norwex order came, but I am giving away three dusting mitts this month. Last month I gave away a mop to one of my subscribers and she lives in Tennessee, which was super exciting. But this month I'm gonna have three people that will get a free dusting mitt. All you gotta do is place an order within the month and um, your name will be put in to win one of these. And if you've never seen me use one, basically they use static electricity so you can rub it up against your clothes and dust away and they are amazing. Dust really clings to them and they do a better job than Swiffer in my opinion. But my favorite thing to use them for is to actually make them wet and just go in circular motions over my screens. I don't even have to remove my screen. I literally just open up the window and go across it in circular motions with that mitt and it those little fibers reach through the screen and they clean the inside and the outside and it does an amazing job I will warn you your mitt will look super dirty and definitely need to be cleaned when you're done but it is one of the most awesome tools that I have found for cleaning screens I'm taking a little break and I actually just showed this stuff on my Instagram account and I know not everybody has Instagram or not everybody follows me so I thought I would just show you. Um, this is a few things that I picked up at Big Lots while I was in Pennsylvania. This guy right here was $15. I can't link any of this stuff because Big Lots you can't shop online like you need to go in store but they always have the best deals. So this is a fake plant. This little thing was so cute and it says is powered by plants and coffee it's supposed to look like a little um, flower pot and then this guy right here I actually got at a greenhouse and I got the pot at Big Lots but I got this little um, it's a, some kind of a palm I think and as I was setting this stuff on the counter I remembered that I actually took some clips from when we went to the greenhouse so I'm gonna go ahead and insert those here stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder So we had the best 
time at the greenhouse and I definitely want to go to some of the greenhouses here in our area but moving on with some of this other stuff so I grabbed some letters because I'm going to be doing a refresh on Cory and I's room and I'm gonna be doing some shelving so I just wanted some things to put on the shelves and then these here I get asked about all the time I've got them in different places of my house and I've actually picked them up in different places when I see them somewhere and they're a good price I grab them because they're my favorite type of bin to organize with just because of the handle um, so right now big lots has got these I actually got six of them to, uh, three of them are up here I just wanted something different to organize our lids so I've got like the sippy cup water bottle lids for the girls this is like all of our tumbler coffee mug kind of lids and then this is for like rings and lids for ball jars um, but they're just so convenient to pull in and out I love that you can see what's in them so these up here I'm gonna organize something here in just a second but I've also found them at Walmart and it's kind of been hit and miss because I've looked for them again at Walmart and then they're not there so definitely keep your eye out but check out big lot and and you will find some really great finds right now. Okay, I'm gonna do a little organizing up here. Disregard all of this. I am making water kefir. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a fermented drink, um, and it's really fizzy and delicious, and once I perfect some recipes, I probably will share some with you, but that is what this whole thing is down here. So if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, I actually did some organizing in my kitchen, and this spot right here, this is fine for the baking stuff up here but these two right here they just are first of all not enough room for all of our spices and they're just a little inconvenient and I think that this type of a pull out going on up here will be so much better and will suit our needs a little bit better with the spices. Alright, so I made a little deal with myself. Whenever I set up this coffee bar, I put these two bins in the shelf there to hold my coffee cups. And I decided that whenever I am full and running over with coffee cups, then I'm gonna make myself declutter and only have that much space for coffee cups. So I just pulled out a few that I didn't want anymore um, and I put my new one in there. Then I went ahead and filled up my little reusable K cups. This decaf is awesome. It is made with Swiss water processing. If you guys know anything about decaf coffee, it's usually processed to be decaffeinated with chemicals but Swiss water processing actually does it naturally without chemicals and this is also an organic coffee I will try to remember to link it below as well as the reusable K cups I know a lot of you have purchased them and said that they've really worked well for you and I know for myself they saved me a lot of money thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button I hope that this video motivated you and I'll see you guys in my next video